Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about virtual museum rubric that my colleagues Nishimura, Yokoyama and I have been working on. Building physical museums can be difficult as you need to secure the exhibition space and the objects to display and therefore this is limited to certain organizations like local governments. Recently, people have been making museums in virtual spaces, as it doesn't require buildings for exhibition space, and securing digital exhibit objects is easier than physical ones, of course. However, Creating physical museums usually involves trained experts like architects, curators, exhibit designers, and museum educators. In virtual museums, on the other hand, you have to do everything. And if you don't have any trainings, then it can be difficult. On the top of that, convenient guidance for creating virtual museums is not readily available, so you have to think everything yourself. This is why we decided to create a rubric for virtual museums as a guide for non-professionals to evaluate their creations. The rubric is still work in progress. Currently, we have selected attributes for museum design. And these attributes are divided into four categories. The first one is about uh, exhibition planning, such as the concept of the exhibition and the target audience. The second one concerns the design of the exhibition space, including route design for visitors. The third one is about how you display the objects. And the fourth one, it's about the graphics and text for guidance and labels. The rubric is planned to have three point scale and will provide descriptions for each level of performance. We're also planning to develop rubric not only for museum design, but also for museum education. However, none of us are real experts in museology, which is why we'll be asking for feedbacks from experts. We'll be also testing the rubric with existing virtual museums to see whether it is suitable for assessing the quality of virtual museums and whether it is easy to use for those who want to create their own virtual museums. Finally, we will create general best practice guide for virtual museums, which we are going to use with the rubric. We hope that rubric and the guide will accelerate the creation of virtual museums. Thank you.